Hey everyone, here is phobia medical terminology lesson two. So this is a continuation of lesson one and we're gonna go and complete the rest of the alphabet of different phobias. So starting from the letter M, we're gonna go from M to P in this um, slide of phobias. So the first one is muso or muso, which means mice. So musophobia would be a fear of mice. The next one is nicto. Nicto means darkness. So nictophobia would be a fear of darkness. The next one is nosocom. And nosocom means hospital. So nosocomophobia would be a fear of hospital. So we've learned this word before. You can think of nosocomial infections or hospital related infections. Nosocom means hospitals. The next one is numero, which means numbers or calculations. So numerophobia would be a fear of numbers or a fear of calculations. This is very easy to remember. The next one is ornitho. Ornitho means birds. So ornithophobia would be a fear of birds. And you can think of the word ornithologist or a specialist with regards to birds. The next one is aphidio. Aphidio means snake. So aphidiophobia would be a fear of snakes. This is a very common phobia. So again, ophidio means snake. Ophidiophobia would be a fear of snakes. The next prefix is omphalo. Omphalo means navel or your belly button. So uh, you can think of um, omphalophobia would be a fear of belly buttons. This is a very Seems like a very odd phobia. Um, you can think of other words like omphalo seal, um, which relates to the belly button. The next prefix is ombro. Ombro means rain. So ombrophobia would be a fear of rain. Another prefix is pano. Pano means everything. So panophobia would be a fear of everything or this concept of everything. And this relates to the prefix pan. Pan means all or everything. You can think of um, pancytopenia. So pan means all, pano uh, means everything. Panophobia would be a fear of everything. The next prefix is pado. Pado means feet. So podophobia would be a fear of feet or something relating to the feet. Uh, you can think of podiatry when you think of pado. The next prefix is phobo. Phobo itself means fear. So phobophobia would be a fear of a fear. So this seems um, kind of odd, but it's kind of a fear of fearing something. So phobo um, literally comes from phobia. So it's related to phobia. Phobophobia would be a fear of fear. The next one is phylo. Phylo means love. So phylophobia would be a fear of love. And you can think of um, you can think of anything with the suffix phyle. So you can think of hydrophilia or anything with the suffix philia relates to love. So phylo is related to philia. And again, phylo means love. So phylophobia would be a fear of love. The next prefix is Periscoviticatria or periscoviticatria. This is relating to Friday the 13th. So this kind of nebulous fear of Friday and it falling on the 13th day of the month. So periscoviticatria or periscoviticatria or periscoviticatria relates to Friday the 13th. So periscoviticatriaphobia would be a fear of Friday the 13th is a very mouthful when we try to say this um, prefix. Periscovidicatria is a fear of Friday the 13th. So people have this fear of this day because of the movies, because it is a nebulous omen when we think of this day. So periscovidicatriophobia would be a fear of Friday the 13th. The next one is pedio, which means dolls. So Pediophobia would be a fear of dolls. So uh, this may relate to um, movies like Chucky, or um, you can think of pedio is relating to um, pedia, uh, pediatrics, something relating to kids. Pedio, in this instance, refers to dolls. Pediophobia would be a fear of dolls. 
The next prefix is phasmo, which means ghost. So phasmophobia would be a fear of ghosts. This is a, a common phobia as well. So the next set of phobias start with the letter P to T. So the first one is pyro, which refers to a fire. So pyrophobia is a fear of fire. So we've learned that pyro or pyre, um, the prefix pyro or pyro, and we've learned that this refers to fevers in other lessons. But in this case, pyro refers to fire. So pyrophobia is a fear of fire. The next prefix is pagono. Pagono refers to beards. So pagonophobia would be a fear of beards or a fear of something relating to beards. The next phobia is pseudodysphagia, which means a fear of choking. So pseudodysphagia literally means fear of choking. It does not utilize the suffix phobia in this instance. So pseudodysphagia itself means a fear of choking. So dysphagia, we know that we've learned before in other lessons that dys means problem, uh, phagia means eating or uh, abnormal condition of eating. Dysphagia would be a problem with um, eating or a problem with swallowing. Pseudodysphagia refers to a fear of choking or it's uh, actually an intense fear of choking. So pseudodysphagia does not require the suffix uh, phobia, it just means fear of choking. The next prefix is photo, which means light. So photophobia is a fear of light. So this can actually be part of a medical condition whereby if there's any um, abnormality in sight, it can lead to um, people not being able to tolerate too much bright light. That would be considered photophobia. The next prefix is Renita, which refers to frogs. So Renita phobia would be a fear of frogs. The next prefix is Sidon Globo, which refers to cotton balls or plastic foam. Sidon Globo phobia would be a fear of cotton balls or fear of plastic foam. The next prefix is Skilero or Skilero. This refers to crime. So Skilerophobia or sclerophobia is a fear of crime. The next prefix is somni. Uh, this refers to sleep. So somnophobia would be a fear of sleep. So um, we've learned that somnolence refers to sleeping. Um, we've learned that um, insomnia would mean a problem with falling asleep. So the prefix somni refers to sleep. Somnophobia would be a fear of sleeping or an aversion to sleeping. The next prefix is sphexo. This refers to wasps. So a sphexophobia or sphexophobia is a fear of wasps. The next prefix is samhino. This refers to Halloween. So Samhainophobia would be a fear of Halloween, or Samhainophobia would be a fear of Halloween. So some people have a fear of just the imagery with relating to Halloween, the costumes, the atmosphere, um, so on. Some people have Samhainophobia or Samhainophobia, which is a fear of Halloween. So the next prefix is Skolosai or Skolokai, which refers to worm. So a um, Skolosophobia or sclicophobia would be a fear of worms. The next prefix is toko, which refers to pregnancy or giving birth or having children. So tokophobia is a fear of pregnancy or a fear of um, having um, children or giving birth. These all relate to the, this term tokophobia. The next phobia we're going to talk about is uh, related to the prefix telephono, which literally means or relates to talking on the phone. So telephonophobia would be a fear of talking on the phone or an aversion to talking on the phone. The next prefix is theo. Theo refers to God. So theophobia would be a fear of God. Uh, you can think of words like theology or theologians. These all relate to a prefix that means God. The next prefix is 
Triskaideka or Triskaideka. This rel um, relates to the number 13. So Triskaidekaphobia or Triskaidekaphobia or Triskaidekaphobia relate to a fear of the number 13. So this, again, a nebulous um, aversion or fear to this um, number 13 due to a belief that it's unlucky. So triskaidekaphobia would be a fear of this number. The next phobia um, relates to the prefix tripo, uh, which means holes. So tripophobia or tripophobia is a fear of holes. So the next list of phobias start with the letter T to Z. So the first one is Thanato. Thanato means death. So thanatophobia is a fear of death. The next prefix is trepano. Trepano relates to needles. So trepanophobia is a fear of needles. The next prefix is techno. This is easy. This relates to technology. So technophobia is um, when someone is afraid or has a fear of technology or an aversion to technology. The next prefix is thalasso, which refers to the ocean. So thalassophobia is a fear of the ocean. The next prefix is tafo or tafo. This refers to being buried alive. So taphophobia or tafophobia is a fear of being buried alive. The next prefix is zoo or zoo. This refers to animals. So zoophobia is a fear of animals. The next prefix is xeno. Xeno refers to something that's unknown, that's different, that's foreign, that's alien. So xenophobia would be a fear of the unknown, fear of something different, fear of something foreign. So xenophobia normally refers to a fear of aliens or a fear of something foreign. And the next prefix is viho, which refers to driving. So vihophobia would be a fear of driving or an aversion to driving. So you can think of uh, the word vehicle when you think of viho. So vihophobia, again, is fear of driving. Think of the word vehicle to help you with this one. So now that we've learned all of those prefixes, let's put them to practice. So the first practice problem we're going to look at is ornithophobia. So what does ornithophobia mean? Well, we know again that phobia means fear of, but what does the prefix ornitho mean? So again, ornitho, ornitho means birds. So phobia again means fear of, so ornithophobia is a fear of birds. The next practice problem is sclerophobia. And again, remember that phobia is fear of, so sclero, what does this mean? Well, this prefix means crime. So sclerophobia is a fear of of crime. The next practice problem is musophobia. So again, what does muso prefix mean? Muso means mouse. So musophobia would be a fear of mice. So the next practice problem is triskaidekaphobia. So what does this term mean? So breaking it down, triskaideka. So you can think of um, breaking this prefix down as well. So try you can think of tri meaning three, and you can look through the prefix as well and see dec or deca. Uh, deca usually refers to, or dec, uh, D-E-C, or deca, D-E-C-A, refers to 10. So if we kind of think of it that way, this might help us. Triskai deca actually means the number 13. So phobia of this would be a fear of the number 13. So Triskaidekaphobia is a fear of the number 13. So the next one is, again, another long word and a very difficult word to pronounce, um, but it is periscavida catriophobia or periscavida catriophobia. So what does this prefix mean, periscavida catria or periscavida catria? So again, if we break it down, we can kind of see bits and pieces of the meaning in this prefix. So if you think of the deca, again, this meaning 10, tri meaning three. So you can think of it there as uh, 13. So you can think, you can kind of see the number 13 in this word. 
And in fact, Periscavita Catria means Friday the 13th. So uh, Periscavita Catria means Friday the 13th. So Periscavita Catria phobia is a fear of Friday the 13th. And the last practice problem is theophobia. So again, breaking it down, this one's an easier one. So theo, theo, think of words like theologian or theology. This refers to God. So theophobia would be a fear of God. So anyways, guys, this was lesson two on medical terminology for common phobias. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any other um, interesting phobias that I haven't mentioned in these two lessons, please list them in the comments below. I'd love to see them. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again later.